long time that calves and heifers that are raised separately from the adult herd have less disease. Just like uh, baby infants are removed and put in a nursery right at birth, we kind of do the same thing with baby calves for their health. And then at a certain age, they're grouped according to age, much like school children are. We're grouped according to our age and with our pen mates. Dairy cows eat a balanced diet, and so that's primarily composed of forages, like hay, corn silage, grains, like corn, and it's composed of protein. So soybeans would be a common thing. Having a properly balanced and formulated diet, growing high quality, good quality forages, and making sure that that cow has all of her nutrient need, needs met is very important to, uh, for both their health and their productivity. A big thing we look for to see if cows are happy and healthy is do they lay down and rest for an appropriate amount of time? Do they milk a proper amount of milk? And do they eat uh, what's been fed to them? Each cow has her own place to lay. Uh, each cow has her own bed and they're filled with sand, which research has shown is absolutely the most comfortable thing for a cow to lie on. It's more comfortable than grass and dirt out on, on pasture. When it comes to animal welfare, productivity, how cows are treated, uh, that's completely independent of size. Uh, this cow is the same as a cow on a big farm or a small farm. Cows are cows. And the way we care for them is not dependent upon the size of the operation.